Hello guys, welcome to the online session of how to use temporal convolutional network to predict remaining useful life of an engine. So in this video, I will be introducing a system model that incorporates temporal convolutions with both long term and short term time dependencies. That means in this video, we will be using LSTA model of deep learning. So basically for this uh, project, you might, you must have the basics of, you must learn the basics of uh, deep learning. Also the proposed network learns silent features and complex temporal variations in sensor values and predicts the REL that is remaining useful life. A data augmentation method is also used for increasing the accuracy. Also the proposed method which we have used over here gives the promising results. Now let's have a look over the data sets. So we have chosen the data set from uh, CMAPS that is Commercial Modular Aero Propulsion System Simulation data set. So we have chosen this for benchmarking purposes. So as you can see over here the data set consists of four sub data sets with different operating and fault conditions leading to complex relations with sensors. So you can see the testing and training doc files over here. These are the training files and these are the testing one. So different sub data sets contain different number of training and testing trajectories. The complexity of sub data sets will increase the number of operating conditions and fault conditions. So in these data sets basically we have 26 features I'll be showing you. So you can see this is one of the data set. The data set might not be clear over here as the features are not included in the data set. So, I, so uh, I'll just show you the snapshot of the data set for better understanding. So you can see the data set over here with all the features like we are having 26 features one is ID then number of cycles then three of them are oper operational settings and after that it's sensor measurement like sensor measurement 1, sensor measurement 2, 3 and so on till 21 also uh, the data set FD, FD002 and FD004 are considered to be the complex data sets in every sub data set training trajectories are concatenated along the temporal axis and same applies for the testing tra uh, trajectories as well. So now let's move towards the code. So here first of all uh, we have used a pie chart and first of all we will be applying data pre-processing. After applying data pre-processing let's see what the graph which we have achieved. So after data pre-processing we have got the clean data with the features as well. So this is the proposed uh, system model which we have used. You can see the flowchart over here. See you can see over here we have applied uh, augmentation in training data. That is we have modified the existing features then we have applied normalization then again we have applied max pooling with convolutional 1D layer then fully connected plus drop, drop out then we have used LSTM after we have got the output also this is the graph of data augmentation that is this one is for training data before augmentation this is the training data after augmentation you can see the difference between the graphs over here and this one is the testing data also this is the graph of training data now this is the another graph plotted for the training data now you can see this is the code for applying models that is we have applied LSTM model over here and let's check the output so after executing the 
model.py code we have received this graph you can see the line with you can, you can see the curve with the orange color it represents the expected RUL value and the curve with blue color it represents the predicted RUL value and between this there will be the RMS value that is root mean square error I will be explaining about each of these topics in the next video so stay tuned and thank you